Well, hey, boys and girls. <laughs> this month we're talking about community garden. So we're gonna go see what we can find in nature's garden. Come take a look with me. See him? See, in, in nature's garden, we got all types of plants and different things that you can find just out in your own woods. Now, I wouldn't eat anything unless you know what it is, <clears throat> but you gotta talk to somebody first, but I don't know about you, but that looks pretty edible to me. And look, you can even see there's little wildlife on the plant itself. Different bugs and things. It's springtime, so we're starting to see all these different different creatures come out. Right, we're back at the river. Now, I don't know if you can see, but right up there in that tree is actually a turkey. Big old turkey. Now, not everybody knows that turkeys can fly, but they can, and they'll get up high in the trees. Here they go. They're big birds. Now you might not like them, but, but spiders are so cool. I don't know if you can see that spider web there. But it's so nicely woven and I'm sure that somewhere around here, if we looked hard enough, we could find the big spider that made that nest. He's probably in this log somewhere. Oh, look what I found. Just on the other side of that hill, there's some deer. Do you guys have deer in your backyard? Pretty cool. The closer I get to them, they'll probably run away though. But the deer, they've got their own community garden. All those flowers and plants that we've been showing you, that's what they like to eat. Let's see where they go. They're running away. That's right, they're gonna go find somewhere safer. I kept moving and I found something else. Up there, see that big pile of leaves in that tree? That's a squirrel's nest. You guys have probably seen squirrels around. Squirrels are all over the place. See lots of squirrels. In fact, we might be able to find some squirrels if we look around. Look at this. Now, these are mushrooms. Now, you probably can't eat these, but there are some mushrooms that even humans can eat, but animals definitely can eat the mushrooms and they like them. But some mushrooms are poisonous, so you gotta be real careful with those. If 
found a duck. This will help us see more of what's on the lake. Now these are lily pads. You probably know lily pads as the things that frogs like to jump on, right? There's a whole bunch of them. I've seen some places where the lily pads take up the whole lake, so it's all lily pads. There's only a couple here. I can't see a ton right now, but I'm sure if I could go underwater, we could find lots of fish and, and different underwater bugs, and even some frogs or maybe even some, uh, oh, there's a dragonfly that flew by, but maybe even some, uh, some crawdads or um, crayfish. Those are fun. A look at that over there on those logs those are all turtles there's a whole bunch of them here they are see them right there on that log they're just out sunbathing getting as much sun as they can nice and warm I just saw the first butterfly that I've seen this spring. He flew over there. Maybe I'll find another one. Now this looks like it might be a groundhog hole. It connects through the other side. There's another one here. Could even be a foxhole. There's a couple of them around. It's hard to know for sure. But look at that. See how far down that goes? Pretty cool. There's another one over there. They're probably all connected. This is what I'm talking about, look. Those are some much bigger mushrooms. See those? Nice. You can usually find these on some old dead trees, kind of like this one. Something else about these big old dead trees is, see that hole there? Oftentimes animals will come and make holes inside these trees so they can live inside of them. Wouldn't be surprised if there's some raccoons living in there or maybe some maybe some birds or some squirrels. Seems like a pretty nice home if you ask me. Is that bird just chilling on the tree? something you can find almost anywhere. <clears throat> these are dandelions. You've seen these before. But what I bet you didn't know is that you can actually eat the stem of a dandelion. Don't eat the flower, but you can eat the stem. Now, I wouldn't just eat it naturally. It doesn't taste all that good. But what you can do is you can look up a recipe and you can make some dandelion stem tea. That's right, you can make a tea out of this stuff. It's like a tea leaf. So yeah, look up a recipe and try it sometime. Well, thanks for going on a nature walk with me, boys and girls. Appreciate it. Go see what you can find in your parks or backyards or whatever. I'm sure you can find lots of wildlife and see what the, uh, 
what the animals consider their community garden. <laughs> See ya!